I'm going to leave the best items till the end. It's TK Maxx for I love this NK. Love it. It does it to any of her content. I got a new bars. I might be a little bit by. Hi and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Zainab and today I have a haul. I is this my second? This might be my second haul and the plan is just to do a haul every quarter at the end of each quarter. Now that we have completed Q1 January to March, I thought I would share everything that I have bought throughout those three months. I did say in my previous video, we are all about saving and investing this year. So I'm not trying to spend a lot of money on clothes and things which are not necessarily necessary at the moment, but I have bought a couple of things which I thought I would share. This is everything from homeware to new things for my laptop and workspace to fashion to skincare, beauty, the whole Shazam. Everything that I have bought, including some things which I have already used. Make sure to grab yourself something to drink, tea, coffee, a lemonade like myself, because this is going to be long. This might be the longest video I think I'm going to record in a very long time. So let's get started with homeware. I have bought quite a few things for my home this year and some things I'm not actually physically going to be able to carry it, but I will insert some clips of what I have bought. So the first thing is this TV easel. My TV has been sitting on top of Barack Obama's book for a very long time and I was just fed up of the look. Wires were everywhere. It wasn't cute. And I saw Abigail, oh, I, don't, I can't remember her last name, but she's a creative director, love her fashion, love her home. And she had a TV standing on an easel. And I was like, oh, I would love to have my TV standing on an easel. But then I thought about it, in reality, Zainab, does it fit with your home? The answer is no. And how am I going to make sure that this thing is secure and I do not drop my 500 pound TV? So I opted for this simple easel from Amazon. It was 119, 120 pounds. I like the fact that it has this oak effect because I love natural woods and I can move it around. I can move it to this corner or to another corner of my living room because I'm still trying to figure out how I want things to be laid out. The second thing for my home is this dining table. So I got this on Facebook Marketplace. I haven't had a dining table again for three years. I did have a pretend dining table, which is a fold away uh, table, like one of those party tables. And I was okay with that, but I wanted to change my house a little bit. Hence why I decided to look for something that was already used because the dining table that I really want is from Soho Home and it costs a lot of money and I'm not spending that much money on a dining table at the moment. So I did opt for this one. It was £45. I picked it up. It was like 20 minute drive. So it wasn't a lot of time for me to go and get it and get it here. And yeah, it's doing the job of having a nice little dining table. The next thing I got for my home are these what do they call them? This is like an oil jar and you can put vinegar or you can do it the other way around. They are made of this, um, I don't know what material it is, but maybe ceramic. And I really like the colors, they come in a set. Well, they're individuals, but they, they're in a set. But I really like the colors, the blues and the green in it. So pretty, so special. There is nothing in this one because I'm like, what am I actually gonna put in this? But I do have my cooking oil in this. It's so pretty and I got them TK Maxx for, I think this was like £7 and I think this was like £6. So together maybe about £13, £14. I also picked up this wooden little slab. Um, I think I got this in Vienna for about maybe 2 or £3. I had planned for these to sit on top but there's a little bit of a wobble. So at the moment I'm just using it as a decorative piece until I figure out what I'm going to use this for. But I love wood, as I've said, I love anything wooden, browns, dark browns, light browns, whatever it is. Um, I just think it complements my home. But unfortunately, this doesn't work. But as I'm in the process of, re I wouldn't call it redecorating, but like reorganizing my home, I wanted to pick up some spice jars. I know this is quite like influencer driven. You don't need it. I'm not encouraging you to 
change your spices, your, your current spice jars into more aesthetically pleasing ones. I like to buy my spices in bulk, which means my spice jar is quite disorganized. I am gonna film a video, a video of me reorganizing that spice jar. So I got these on Amazon. I like that they're really thick. I'm just hoping, I haven't done a drop test to see whether they will break or not, because I do drop my spice jar quite often. But I like the color of the wood. As you know, I have a small obsession with wood. Um, and then it has like a proper seal inside and then the wood is just on top. They come with labels. I can't find the English ones, but I put them somewhere. But they have ones in Dutch and French and there are some ones which don't actually have any words on it so you can fill it in yourself. These came in a box of 24 for I think £21. I will have these linked in my Amazon storefront just in case you are curious or want to buy them. I also picked up some juicing jars. So I am really into juicing at the moment. Just adds a little bit more nutrients into my diet. And I got these on Amazon. I think they're about 16 for about 21 pounds as well. I like the size of this because I will drink one a day. And if you haven't seen my juicing video, take a look at my juicing video. I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to juicing. So I do use pre-cut and pre-frozen juicing fruit is that what you call them um to make my juices but that works for me again these will be available on my amazon storefront as i said i'm sharing everything that i have bought things which might be necessary some things may not be necessary but for me it is necessary i also got the vogue magazine so this is the last cover that edward enfield um directed and it has all of the amazing models, superstars, personalities. I might be a little bit biased, but I do think British Vogue, out of all of the different Vogues, I think British Vogue is the best. Like the covers that British Vogue, uh, the covers that British Vogue deliver are always amazing. One thing that I do do, and I'm not sure if this is how they intended to use it, um, but you know, you still get the perfume samples i actually go in and i put a little bit on so i think there's still a little bit left in here so i take it off ever so slightly <laughs> and then i still use it yep there's still a lot in here um but it's about to dry out and i use it um it's definitely enough for maybe like two or three pumps but this is done now i got a new vase well i had this before it broke and I even broke another vase today. I don't know what's going on. Um, and I had to rebuy it. I do love this vase as well, which I was gifted, which I love. However, I also needed something that was just a little bit longer because my flowers tend to have long stems. So I bought this again from H&M. I think it was 25 pounds, but I love it. I wish they do create one, which is just clear without the, cor is it corrugated? stuff on it um just like a nice plain long vase i think that's everything that i bought for my home in general for office and work stuff i got two things i got myself a new monitor it is not in here this is the box i've already set it up on my desk um this is a phillips monitor i got it on amazon and the reason why i wanted this is because one i broke my other monitor which i was using for work and the work that I do is, it's been stressful using my little Mac laptop um, monitor. So having another monitor, amazing. And also it has USB-C, which means I can plug it into my iPad and I can edit from my iPad using my monitor. People, you don't understand how life-changing that has been for me because I was contemplating on buying a MacBook. Um, one, because I don't always have enough space for my iPad and my laptop. My iCloud is, yeah, overloaded and I'm not paying £26 a month. It's been a lifesaver. I think I got it for maybe £120 or £130. Again, I'll have this linked in my Amazon storefront just in case you want to see which monitor I bought. I also got myself a laptop sleeve. If you see the sleeve that I have at the moment, it is the ghetto. I've had that sleeve 
for yeah <laughs> a long time and it, it doesn't it doesn't match my brand you know it's definitely off brand the other one so i got this um in that shop what's that shop called does it even have a name on here is it tiger 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 are they still called tiger tiger i don't know if they're still called tiger tiger but that shop <laughs> that used to be called tiger tiger um and i really like the color and i love the fact that it's plain you know it is just plain there's nothing to it they don't put tiger tiger on all over it and it was eight pounds i think i tried to find one on amazon and they were like 15 16 pounds and i'm just like eh. i think that's a lot um just for and it's not even real leather so i think it's like a plastic material so love this i will use this for my personal laptop i do need to get one for work and i wanted this in a different color so another thing for my home and this is mainly for work to be honest this is a cutlery set got this from tiger tiger again it is plastic but reusable plastic if i can open it and it's just a knife and fork and spoon set that is good when i'm going to work because my office they don't actually provide cutlery so you have to bring your own cutlery if you're bringing your own food so i like this i think this was maybe about two pounds or three pounds and yeah i just put it into my work bag bring it back wash it can put it in the dishwasher and you're all good to go so that is everything for my home and workstation moving on to beauty skincare hair care everything else and forgive me i literally had to put everything in this <laughs> ikea bag like i love this ikea bag when i go out shopping this is my handbag this is my handbag i chuck everything in here you can see me from a mile away with my ikea bag but i've got everything in here so the first thing i'm going to do is hair care as you can see i'm now an afro queen and i am wearing my hair out apart from like when i have braids or uh when i slip it back but i'm planning to wear my hair out as an afro so here are a couple of things that i have bought first thing is the sacred collection and these are all samples please make sure you watch my video on me using them and see how it works for for sea hair if that's something you care about i'll make sure that i have it linked i got the two kits there are a couple of products missing here both of them came up to about 91 pounds including shipping i also got this hairbrush thing which you can twist on and off um and it's great for like washing my scalp as you can see my hair is, is very dense so it just helps get to Oh, that does feel good. Helps to get to the root of my head when I'm in the shower. So I got this in TK Maxx, I think maybe about $4.99 or $5.99. But if you are thinking of buying it, make sure you get the one with the long bristles. There's the short ones, but you need the ones with the long bristles if you've got thick hair like mine. everything that i got for my hair moving on to skincare i did buy quite a few things here because i'm trying some new stuff i've seen quite a few recommendations so i was just like let me try first thing is the notorium perfecta salicylic acid body wash i got this for about 18 pounds from space nk i've used maybe about that much of it and i've had it maybe for about two months now I think I need to be a little bit more consistent to provide a full review as to whether I like it or not. I'm not sure if I got the right one. I've seen quite a few people talk about the, what's it called, the yellow? Is it the yellow one? And I got the green one because I do like salicylic acid. Now, this is an empty because I really, 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 really like this. So this is by Sanctuary Spa. This is the Too Faced Bath Oil. And as a person who has eczema, I have dry skin naturally. This is so good when I'm having a bath. I think I've used three bottles of it already and I love it. It is great. I get this from TK Maxx for a little bit cheaper. I think TK Maxx are like $6.99 or $7.99, but I love it. I, I have another one. I couldn't find it. So this is an empty. Love, 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 love this. 
remember when I said I'm showing you guys everything? I really am showing you everything. So I got a new back scrub and I like it because it does come off so you can use it on like, you know, other parts of your body. And then you can also use it for your back, which I love. And I like this one because the bristles are soft. You know, you get some of these brushes and the brush bristles are hard. You don't know if you're scrubbing yourself with steel wire or a brush. And I like this one because it's not too abrasive on the skin but it does what it needs to do so i got this one as well from tk max um i think for mm, no more than six pounds i don't think no more than six pounds we're also moving into summertime so let's not forget about our feet ladies um so i picked up one of these scrubs i already had one but i don't know where it disappeared to so i got a new one again from tiger tiger it's a foot file with two different sides like your rough side here and then like your softer side here i leave this in the shower i wish it did have a little hole but i can just hang it up um but it's fine it's going to do the job i don't know if we classify this as skincare but this is women care this is life care <laughs> so i got this water bottle this is the hot water bottle co so I think they've been operating since 1976. Um, and I've always wanted a long water bottle because when I'm going through that pain, I like to sit with it like this at my, at my desk. And the traditional water bottle, as much as it is great, um, it just doesn't sit where I need it to sit on my back. So I got this, it was in the sale for three pounds that's why i bought it because sometimes i see them for like 15 16 pounds and i'm like no i've already got two water bottles at home i have a water bottle for when i'm going to work i have a water bottle when i'm at home and now i have a third one for my desk and i love it i do need to empty it which i will do today still on body skin i picked up the aveeno daily moisturizer and it's the cream to oil formula it softens normal to dry skin as i mentioned i do have dry skin and this was a recommendation from how can i forget her name her name's just literally disappeared ah oh, and she was doing a series on what if i record it every day of my life people help me what is her name it's gone out of my head i absolutely loved her content but she recommended this i do like it if your skin is very dry i don't think this is moisturizing enough you need something a little bit more you know thicker as a daily moisturizer i think it was like seven pounds and the moisturizer which i usually use is maybe about two pounds two pound fifty um so i don't know if i'm gonna go back to this or if i'm gonna stick to my usual one because it's even cheaper and we do not waste any product in it so no one can say that i am dry i am well moisturized the last thing from beauty i picked up a couple of things from harrods beauty but also sephora now that we have sephora in the uk amazing and also topicals has come to the uk which is good i want to try their lip um balm thing i want to see whether it will work for these big lips the two things that i bought as i said I've, I've done shopping but not too much you know not excessive not excessive i just got two products which i've wanted to try for a very long time so this is the one size i'm sure you have seen this everywhere everyone talks about you know it maintaining your makeup I actually didn't spray it on today because i chucked it in that bag so let's spray some some on it does feel like hairspray <laughs> I have used it a couple of times and I think it it does work. I still get a little bit oily, but less oily than I would if I didn't use it. But I've used it only like once or twice. So I need to wait until the sun comes out and that's when we're gonna put it to the test. I have also fallen into the Refai trap. I attended a call hosted by the Stack World, um, Sharmadu Reed and the founder of Refai and they talked about branding and the importance of branding and how her community helped her get Refai off the ground, how other influencers supported her with the branding. And I think this is her. If you've seen any of her content, this is her in a package, black, white, 
Uh, I know it's not a white white, but it's like a grey white. It is her in a box. She is known for her eyebrows, so I think it's very fitting that she has a lot of products focused on her eyebrows. My eyebrows are one of those things that I'm still... I thought I had figured them out, but they keep changing and evolving. Who knew eyebrows change and evolve as you age? Picked up the clear brow scalp, um, and I think I made a mistake. And this is the problem of just fo following any influencer that you see. I think I made a mistake. I think I picked up the wrong one. I wanted the one that was the two heads and had like the spoolie on the end. I didn't use this today. It was in the box, so yeah. And then from Harrods Beauty, I just picked up two things. Um, one are these eye patches. I do like the ones for, from Topical, but sometimes they are a bit bright. You know, it's everyone see me. And I have been struggling with my sleep again so i am starting to get some dark circles and all that sort of stuff so i wanted to try some eye patches um and these were i think maybe about two pounds two pounds fifty i've not tried this brand before so i'm not going to say i'm going to recommend them um but this is this is what i picked up second thing that i got is a face mask again are they from the same brand yes Patchology, okay, Patchology. Uh, so this is a mood mask, get dewy with it, get dewy with it. Mega moisture sheet mask. It has, <laughs> oh, I don't know why these brands like to use, anyway, I think it's a marketing thing. Make sure the words sound so complicated or make sure the words sound um, medicinal and then people will think that they are real beneficial things. So I will allow you to read what those words say. I do like hy hyaluronic acid, so that was one of the reasons why I picked it up. My skin, it doesn't feel great at the moment. Um, I am going to see a dermatologist because the skin, there's something going on. There's something going on. I'm not sure if it's my diet, I'm not sure if it's age. I don't know what it is, but my skin is not looking its best. It's not feeling its best either. So hopefully this will help just bring a little bit of life um into my skin it says you know the feeling your thirsty skin is crying out for moisture and that's how my skin feels like it feels like it needs it needs moisture all the time um so hopefully this will work i will let you know if it does okay that is all for skincare hair care and beauty moving on to accessories that i have bought this month and the first thing are a set of earrings so these are from stravingaria does anyone know how to pronounce the name of this brand i don't think anyone does um but i really liked these earrings because all three of these are 9.99 and I like clear earrings as well. Sometimes you just want something simple. You want to wear earrings, but you don't want your earrings to dominate your outfit. Get clear hoops or just use a little small diamond, fake diamond <laughs> stud. I also picked up two new rings. I got these from a little store at the office. Um, I think people were selling stuff for Valentine's Day. So actually it was the day before Valentine's Day and they had a little pop up at the office uh, for people, you know, who wanted to pick up a last minute Valentine Valentine's Day gift, and they go with certain outfits, not with this outfit, um, because every day it depends on how, depending on how I wake up, that will depend on the outfit that I'm going to pull together. Um, but yeah, I really like these. On to my favorite accessory. I don't know if I'm going to call it favorite just yet because I don't know whether I'm keeping this or the other color isn't that color so beautiful so i've kept all of this on let me see if i if i do this maybe you'll be able to see it better i wonder if this is raw leather though i hope it is raw leather um so it has this double strap long strap and this smaller strap and then you can carry it like a small basket i love this straw material absolutely obsessed with it and i wanted a new work bag something that is chic fashionable um but also secure this bag's not going to win 
an award for being the most secure bag for London. As you know, the pickpocketers are always pickpocketing. Um, but I think it's so nice. But this is not the colour I wanted. So I did buy it anyway because they didn't have the other one in store. But I think I might buy the other one. Let me know. Let me know. Within After I post this video, I'm going to give it a week. Let me know which bag I should keep. Whether I should keep this one or should I get the brown one. My personal favourite is the brown one. So this is a replica for, what's that brand's name? This brand. I really like their bags as well, but they're like three, four hundred pounds. And my mum would scream at me for buying omokeka. That's what she'd say. Oguzo omokeka. Because this bag's 119 pounds. To buy omokeka for three, four hundred pounds, she'll ask me if I'm mad. Because she knows there's a lady down the road from where we live in Uganda who can make the same bag. I haven't tested whether it fits my laptop and stuff, which maybe should I do that on camera? <laughs> should we do it together and figure out whether um, my laptop would fit in it? Because that's the whole point, right? That I can actually take this to work. What I call weekend working, actually. And it's got this little pouch. So it's canvas inside um, where you can secure your goods from the London pickpocketers. It has this clasp inside. I really like the hardware on this. It's really thick silver and it says All Saints on it. And that's how big it is inside. So it's not huge, but I think it's big enough in my mind. So let's test it out, right? I do carry a lot of stuff in my bag. So let's, let's test it out with my laptop and one diary and a book and let's see if it actually fits so i've got my diary i've got my laptop so let's see oh okay it does it that oh it actually sits flat in there right at the bottom so it can work in that way i usually would carry my laptop on the side so let's see if that fits okay it does it's not maybe comfortable but it does fit and you can't see from the top that there is a laptop um put my diary in and let's put a book as well and yeah it does it fits it has slightly changed the shape but it makes sense why one of the reasons why i wear a back to pack to work is because my back is not great and Carrying a handbag is not good for my back. But I do want a handbag for some of my cute outfits. Not everybody carry a backpack, you know. If I was to carry it like this, that is quite heavy on the hand. It does look cute because I am planning to travel with this as well. Um, like a little cute travel handbag. Okay, I think that is it for accessories. Now moving on to clothes. I am being so intentional about what I'm buying. Um, I don't like my fashion set at the moment. I feel like I used to be a fashion girl. Now I'm just a clothes wearer. I just wear clothes not to be naked, to be honest with you. And I've picked up a couple things that are moving into the direction of how I want to dress. Um, so let me know if you like them as well. So I picked up a couple of things from Zara, H&M, and from the Cos Sale let's start off with zara first thing i bought is this top i have put a little bit of makeup on it so i'm not sure if you can actually see it um but i like this because it adds a little bit of color into my wardrobe when i'm filming content i like to wear colors that are contradicting the background so pink is one of those colors that is one of the reasons why i wanted it but also i think it's a really nice piece to have during the summer wearing this some white trousers wearing this with a black pair of trousers it works with a lot of different outfits they have this in several colors so i am going to buy the black and white one as well the blue i do like it but i don't think that shade of blue looks nice on my skin tone so i'm going to pass on that but i definitely will buy the black and white one for work the other thing i got from zara are these pair of jeans i do not like my jeans that i have at the moment um most of them are quite short on me or i do have quite a lot of skinny jeans um straight leg jeans i haven't found a pair which is perfect these are not perfect but they're pretty okay in comparison one thing about zara is that they will test you 
they will test your madness because this is a size 14. I've never worn a 14 in my life until now. Um, but this is a size 14 in Zara, which in real life is like a size 10, size 12. I like these, I like the colour, I like the wash and the length on me. And these were on sale for $17.99. So that was one of the reasons why I bought them. They're not the most flattering jeans on your bum. One thing about Zara jeans that I've noticed, if you want your bum to look nice, Zara jeans are not the ones, <laughs> in my opinion anyway. Um, Zara jeans are just to look nice in the front, if that makes sense. But I am looking for black bottoms. I don't have enough black bottoms and it's something that I really need to rectify this year. I've got loads of tops, but bottoms, zero. These are the two things that I've got from Zara, from H&M. I got this denim oversized shirt jacket. Um, I really like this. If I could find matching, a matching pair of trousers, like the exact same indigo blue, absolutely perfect because sometimes like when i want to dress down this is the sort of look i want to go for um this was 27.99 which i think is quite good i got it in a size small i like the back as well it has like that nice u shape it's a beautiful beautiful indigo i can see myself just wearing this a lot during the summer just chucking it on top of like a little dress and um, you know the uk weather is always nowhere to describe it. so sometimes you need to have something that you can easily throw on which will not uh impact your outfit so i like this second thing i've got from h&m i got this top i feel like i already have this top well when i saw it on the website it felt like i don't have this top but then i realized when i got it here and i tried it on i already have a version of this top but i like it i like it for work um, I like it for when I'm doing um, like content, but also if I'm at work and I'm having to present stuff, uh, it's a nice top to wear. And then I just wear like leggings on the bottom. Um, and I got this in the sale, I think for £12. I've worn it already. It does need a wash, uh, but I like, I like the structure and it just, it's a plain black work top. Um, I also got a set of pyjamas from H&M. I do like H&M pajamas. I love Tesco pajamas. Do not sleep on Tesco pajamas, but they didn't have anything cream. Um, I don't sleep in these. I wear these for lounging. And you would have seen them in my video when I'm reviewing Sacred Hair Care Line, Beyonce's Hair Care Line, and I will link it here if you haven't had a chance to watch it. It is quite sheer as well. So it is quite light, quite sheer. It's great in the summer if you're a person who likes to wear two-piece pajamas because um, you won't sweat too much. I got this in a medium. I could easily wear a small because it is quite oversized and large on me. But I love it. It does its job. And this was $27.99 or $28.99. One of the two. I'll find the price and I'll add it here. And then the last thing I got from H&M are these house slippers. I'm actually wearing them right now. They are very cute. I do like the colour, but they shed a lot. They shed so much. Like you'll find like bundles of the this little shedding, these little hairs everywhere. So these are about $12.99. Will I buy them again? Highly unlikely. Um, but yeah, they just they're doing the job. They are doing the job. Okay, moving on to the favourite things that I bought. This is from COS the cos sale uh i do like cos i really like cos and i know a lot of us like cos but cos prices are not in the budget at the moment um so i got all of these in their sale i think this sale is still going on if not they do do sales maybe three four times a year and most of the things will go into the sale so if you see something and you're like oh, it's about 100 200 300 pounds keep it on your wish list keep it in your favorites and when they go on sale it's likely to be in there so this is everything i got first thing and i didn't go to store looking for this i was just like browsing and i was just like oh let me go into cause i see they have a sale um so i picked up this dress blue simple knitted dress i like the contrast between the blue and the black and the different directions the stripes go in 
I think this is really nice and simple and you might be thinking Zainab it's, it's not that special I know but sometimes I just want a nice dress that one will look nice in pictures and two that I can wear when I'm going to my future speaking events you know I don't know if it's a saying and I don't know if it's in the bible about preparing yourself for future opportunities this is what I'm doing I can imagine myself wearing this on a stage talking about women in technology empowerment all of that sort of stuff wearing this dress I love it and a pair of boots it does have a slit where is the slit somewhere it does have a small slit as well which is quite nice is it reversible no it's not reversible <laughs> it's not reversible it was originally 19 it was originally 115 pounds would i buy it for 115 pounds no would i buy it for 55 pounds yes and that's what i done um so yeah adding this to my dresses for my future speaking engagements and for the grand finale ah uh, i i absolutely love this i love khaki i like green green looks good on me um so when i saw this i was like oh i like it and then i passed it until i saw the trousers these are not hang up i saw the trousers and i was like is this a two-piece set and i am a sucker for a two-piece set and i was like oh the trousers they don't look like they would actually fit me so i said let me go and try it on waited for about 15 minutes to try it on and oh my god it looks so good on so good on so good on so i went back to find the shirt and this is <laughs> the sizing is so crazy because the bottoms are a medium before anyone says the bottoms are a medium as size 10 this is what i'm telling you the zara sizes are crazy because this is even slightly too big around the waist so i want to get them tailored in um but they are so nice they're just the right length they have a little pocket at the back i'm not sure if you can see the quality of the material it's so so nice this these were 40 pounds love them and then i got the the top ran back to get the top it was the last one there and guess the size you will not even believe the size guess the size it is a size 6 uk and it fits perfectly with the right bra anyway <laughs> it fits perfectly and again it's the same beautiful beautiful material so nice this was 55 pounds i wish it was a little bit less but on the website it's a little bit more expensive i think it's about 60 or 70 pounds on the website but this is so nice on oh, no. this is also one of those pieces for my future self you know preparing for my future self when i was part of an accountability group last year the accountability leader deal would always talk about your future self or oh, i might have to do a try on let me know if you want to see a try on um but or how i would style this i have so many different looks so many different looks they do have the top in a black but i couldn't find the bottoms in a black because i would have bought the black version as well because those pants are so nice on if i could find just the black pants alone maybe not the shirt but the black pants alone i would even buy two or even three so that they can last me <laughs> for many many years because i haven't found pants that suit me um, or fit me very well beautiful so yeah so i hope you have enjoyed my haul my end of quarter one haul i have enjoyed sharing this all with you and if there is anything you want me to explain in a little bit more detail or want me to try and let me know in the comments below and i will do a try on video but thank you very much for staying and i will see you in my next video